you might be wondering why you see the Update from Master button or why you have to update your branch. Abstract allows designers to work in the same projects or files in parallel by using branches. Since you and your teammates will be working on your own tasks at your own pace, each branch will have a different timeline and will have to go through the merge process. When you're working on designs in your branch in Abstract, you may notice that sometimes the Merge Branch button is replaced by a button that says Update from Master or Update from Parent if you're working in a child branch. So why are you seeing that button? This means that someone on your team has made a change to the master while your branch was still open. Usually this means that they've merged their branch before you did, but it could also mean that they added, deleted, or renamed files in the master. Since your branch is linked to master, Abstract can see that there are updates to the master files that you have to bring into your branch. For a deeper dive or a refresher on how branches are related, check out the collaborating with your team video in the branching section. Updating your branch through this process ensures that there are no conflicts between the master files and the files on your branch so that when you merge, your changes will be added to the master files smoothly and as expected. Finally, what happens to your files when you click this button? Updating your branch essentially takes all of the changes that had been added to the master files and it brings those changes into the files on your working branch. In this example here, Mika has been working on the account activity file and Antonio has been working on the sign up sign in file. Mika merged her changes in the account activity file first, so the master account activity file has been updated with her designs. Before Antonio can merge his branch back in, he needs to update his copy of the account activity files from the new version in the master. And he can do that by clicking the update from master button. So let's see what this looks like in abstract. In this case, Mika is still working on her task of updating the account activity file but Antonio has recently merged in the new sign-in flows that we worked on with the Touch ID and Face ID earlier. So you can see that Mika is not able to merge her branch at this time because she needs to update from master. When I click this button, Abstract calculates whether there are any conflicts between the files, and because I do not see a conflict resolution screen here, Abstract has determined that there are no conflicts between the files. So at this point, it is just showing me what I'm going to be bringing in to my branch from the updates that were on master. I'm able to see that the changes were in the sign up and sign in file, and I get a preview of the changes that I'm bringing in. I'm okay with everything here coming into my branch, so I'm going to commit this update. Now my branch is updated, and if I go to the commits tab, I can see that I have a new commit at the top of my commit history that says that I've updated my branch from the master. So when there are no conflicts between the files, this updating your branch process happens automatically and then you can continue working. In the next video, we'll discuss merge conflicts. These happen when there are differences between the master files and the files on your branch that Abstract cannot automatically resolve because you need to make a decision about which versions to keep.